Hi everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to work with the heading module of Uncode. Basically, during the development of each web page, you will use this module one or more times, so let's check in detail how to use it and what its features are. The heading module presents many useful options. The first option inside the module settings is the text editor. This is where you enter your heading text. This is quite simple and intuitive and needs no explanation. The second option is the dynamic heading text, which is used to create a dynamic text, but we will look at this advanced option after having illustrated the other primary options of the module. The heading semantic option defines the HTML tag element. This option allows you to give your heading the right semantics depending on the context in which it is used and it is important for search engine optimization. This option does not have a visual effect. The text font family is useful to differentiate the font family from the general heading font family options set in the theme options. I test different font families from the ones imported. For example, here, the Playfair display font and the Poppins font. Let's use the Poppins font. The text size option is responsible for the font size of the heading. Inside the option there are the H1 to H6 font sizes and the possible custom sizes. Remember that these sizes are defined in the theme options typography, so you can add any preset you may need. Let's test 75 pixels and 100 pixels. Perfect. Let's use this one. The big text option is something different. It makes each line of the heading size automatic, so that it extends to occupy all the space available within the column. It can be interesting for particular creative effects. Here's a good example of big text in action. As you can see, the font size of each line becomes automatic and the words extend to cover the whole column width. Let's revert to 100 pixels font size to continue the tutorial. The text weight, text transform, line height, letter spacing, and color refer to the same CSS property. Let's modify some of them to diversify the typography. Following, there are the separator and subheading options. These options are useful if you want to quickly add a separator and a subheading text. Let's give it a try. I activate the separator and I insert a subheading text. Here we are. Note that the same layout can also be created using a main heading, followed by a divider module, and then by adding another heading module with a secondary formatting style. I'll give it a try. So I remove the separator and the subheading. I open the window with all module selection. I insert a divider module and I adjust its options, like the custom width and the thickness, and I save the module setting to apply the modifications. Here we are. Then I add a new heading module. I paste my text, I change the heading semantic and its typographic properties, like the heading size, let's use H4, and the heading weight, let's use 400, in order to create a secondary heading style. Perfect. Now we have pretty similar layouts, but with more and more options to control each module independently. So remember that the module heading is not only used to create the main heading of the pages, but it can be used whenever you need to create a text different from normal text. Now that we have seen the main module options, Let's discuss about some possible errors, how to avoid them, and above all, how to work according to the Uncode workflow. If you want to take advantage of all of the heading module options, don't use the TinyMCE HTML editor options. For those who do not know what it is, it is a set of options that we see above the text field. If you use the default old-fashioned options to align text or make the font bold, these will override the module options. In Uncode, all the typographic options are available in the module and they are fully integrated with the Uncode's theme options. 
the tiny MCE HTML editor native of WordPress is present for the convenience of users who need to work with extra custom codes or for users that are used to this old-fashioned method. For example, if you need to create a white text, do not color the text white through the tiny MCE options. As you can see, this produces extra inline codes that we can avoid and that I now remove. So just use the dedicated module color option. Here, the color heading option, I select the white color preset and here we are with our white header. I'm going to remove the color now because we can do better. In fact, if you have a dark section and you need a light text to contrast with the background, you can use the skin options of the column container. I open the column options and I navigate to the style tab. Here I can modify the skin value to dark. Note that when you use the skin option, the color of other elements in the column will also automatically change color. In this case, the button. I save the options and as if by magic, the heading changes color and the button too. This is pretty convenient and you will find this option pretty useful when creating your pages. If you don't know about skins, please check the dedicated tutorial since it's one of the fundamental concepts of Uncode. Likewise, if you need to change the alignment of a text, do not use the tiny MCE option that, as you can see, insert inline styles that I now remove, but use the column alignment option. I open the column settings and I set the text alignment option to center. The column alignment method allows you to control the whole column alignment. As you can see with a single click, also the button is now aligned to the center. And this is pretty convenient when creating layouts. If you want to use the tiny MCE options, you can do so, but remember that then the options of the module itself will no longer work. And above all, you're not working the right way to use Uncode at its best. Please also note that if you copy textual contents from Microsoft Word documents or a similar application like Pages for Mac, or you copy a text from a website, it's also possible that you also copy and paste text formatting. If you copy a text with inline formatting codes, these will take precedence over the module options and after the module options will not seem to work. This is pretty normal since this application uses inline formatting styles. After you pasted a text, please check that in the Visual tab there are no HTML codes. So in case, please remember to remove these extra codes. Or rather, depending on whether you use Mac or Windows, there are options to paste text without formatting applied. We left in standby the automatic heading text option. Let's find out about it. This automatic heading text is especially used with the content block to create a section that can be used as a matrix for multiple pages with dynamic options. We dedicate a specific video to the content block and dynamic content. In short, the text can become dynamic depending on the context in which it is used. When used within a simple page, like this example, it can be used to display the page title. In fact, if we open up the back end, we see that this is the title of the page. The option can also be used to display the excerpt, which is a small presentational text that can be inserted into the page. You can find the excerpt inside the page or post editor when working in the WordPress backend. So it might be useful to show this text. I'll do a quick test to show you. Here it is. So for example, you can use a main heading that displays the page title and a secondary heading with a different style. I made some quick changes here while I was talking that displays the excerpt. So you have the automatic page title and subtitle. As said, this option is extremely convenient when using the content block that can be used on multiple pages as a design matrix, where a content block with dynamic option elements is applied to multiple pages. In the animation tab, you have the animation options. With the animations, you can bring your pages to life and grab your visitor's attention. There are general animations such as opacity 
or zoom in, or bottom to top. Then there are the special heading animations that are even more stunning and that are an excellent way to engage users and encourage them to explore the rest of your content. Here we can test lines curtains that automatically animate each line and adjust the animation's delay. We can test words curtains that animate each word. And we can test letter curtains Here we are with a smooth animation. If you're interested in learning more, don't forget to check the animated headings dedicated video.